So let's please welcome the aspiring artist himself, winner of the U.S. Cycling Performance of the Year Award, presented by Nitro, Taylor Finney. Thanks. Thanks, guys. That was fun. Um, I was here five years ago when I was 19, gave a similar speech. It's always fun to be back. There's a great energy in this room. You know, you guys are a really tight-knit, cool group of people, and I'm super honored, super happy to be here. Uh, for whatever reason, you know, cyclists and triathletes, we're, we don't hang out a lot. Why don't we hang out more? Let's hang out more, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I like to come here because I feel like Bob always has a crazy outfit that he wears. Or maybe it's just a tie thing. So I decided to wear my own kind of crazy outfit. I, <laughs> I'm going for kind of like a burnout rock star that is now a full-time valet. But, but uh, I just want to take a second to thank you, Bob. Uh, you've always been really supportive of me. And, uh, you know, you're incredibly selfless. And you put a lot of people above you. Yeah. And um, you're a very inspiring man and inspiring human. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> No, you're, you're a true example for us all, man, and I, I thank you for that. So thank you. Um, if I could just share just one story. Uh, with that bow, the, uh, that wasn't planned, by the way. I wasn't, like, racing and, like, hey, I should bow when I, when I win. <laughs> <laughs> like, I woke up in the morning, like, hey, I'm going to bow today. It's going to happen. <laughs> it just kind of happened, but I remember... When I was younger, before I turned professional, there was a rider named Juan Antonio Flecha. And Flecha means arrow in Spanish. And he won a race, some race in Belgium, by himself like that. And when he went across the finish line, he went to go take an arrow out of his back. Not a real arrow, but like a... So his celebration was to take the arrow and shoot an arrow. And I thought that was the coolest thing. And so when I would ride with my friends... You know, we'd go out, we'd sprint for town signs, we'd sprint for a climb. And, you know, you'd get there, you'd, get, you'd be first, and you'd do the arrow. And a couple weeks after that stage win, I was sitting in the hospital. I'd just broken my leg really badly. I didn't know if I was going to be able to race again. There were a couple instances on Twitter and Instagram where kids were going out, and they would be sprinting for a town sign, or they'd be sprinting for a hill, and they would do the bow, and they would tag me in it. And it was like the first time that happened, it, it made me so happy, I almost started crying. <laughs> and I think, you know, that's, that's the power that we have, is that we can inspire the version of you that looked up to you now. And that's the beauty of sport, and that's the beauty of what we can do. And thank you guys so much for having me here, and thanks for, thanks for being you, and let's hang out more. Yeah!